So this is the Trompa Dauphin, which, or Trompa Dauphin, depending on how you pronounce it. Dauphin, probably, because Trompa is a feminine word. It was made in 1721 by Lebrun, uh, almost certainly with the design of Marc-Antoine de Dompierre in mind. He uh, basically pioneered this instrument uh, as he was the hornist for the king at the time. He called it the Trompa Dauphin because of the, to, to celebrate the birth of the king's first son in 1729. So it's interesting that this, interesting that this instrument was made in 1721. It's basically the same length and pitch as a modern horn in D and plays very similarly. The main difference, of course, is the fact that because of the sheer size of the instrument, it's far harder to actually hold it in the way that you would hold a natural horn. Um, that kind of hand horn technique probably wasn't in use so much at the time because uh, in Baroque horns, they tended to hold them more like this, perhaps. The traditional way of holding this horn uh, is I put my hand down here and then hold it out like this, presumably because you maybe would want to be on horseback so to be able to hold the reins with the other hand. Uh, it makes it a little bit unwieldy, but once you actually get it positioned on the mouth, it plays relatively well. The range of the instrument, again, very similar to a modern uh, horn in D. I'm gonna play three little excerpts for you on this uh, horn. The first two are both by Marc-Antoine de Dompierre. Uh, they're both fanfares, hunting horn fanfares. The first one is uh, La Dauphine and the second one is Le Choisy. The third piece that I'm going to play is by Eugène Botza. It was a piece called En Forêt, which he wrote in 1941, where he picks out bits of music relating to the forest, and perhaps unsurprisingly, he picks out lots of French horn hunting calls, and that's what this section is. Um, it's very like the modern and old calls that they use. It's within a very tight range, probably so that it facilitates playing outdoors when you're perhaps not in the most easy scenario to play. And also, so it's easy to play by amateur players, which is essentially what the, the bulk of the huntsmen probably are. <laughs> 